This tutorial covers installing of SQL Server 2012 Express. I've already downloaded, which can be a lengthy process depending on which package you install, the SQL Server 2012 Express from the DreamSpark website. The Express version is also available from Microsoft MSDN site for download. So I'm going to start the installer application. The installation center will open up, and this is where we actually do our um, install. So I'm going to go ahead and do a standalone installation. And generally, you're just going to respond positively to just about anything it asks you for as we go through this process. It's, it's pretty well uh, a self-running um, application uh, from Microsoft as far as getting this installed. For instance, accepting license features. I generally don't send usage data since I have no uh, contractual obligation with Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. I'm going to include the updates as necessary. Click Next. depending on how fast your network speed is, might determine how long this process actually takes. So now it's an updating the system with a service pack install. Again, these are all just updates to the uh, individual applications. Now notice that I've already have I already have a instance of the full um, SQL Server installed, and so I'm seeing this um, name here, MS SQL Server. If you see that, that's generally um, means that you've got a full full blown uh, SQL Server install already on the system, which I do. What we normally look for for, for SQL Express is to see a instance name of SQL Express all in caps. So I'm going to do a new installation since I'm trying to install SQL Server Express. And I want to make sure that the database engine services are checked. Uh, SQL Server replication isn't that needed for our purposes, but I would go ahead and leave that. And then the SQL Client Connectivity SDK, make sure that's on. And then I'm going to click Next. And there's what I was talking about. We have our instance name and our instance ID of SQL Express. This will allow us to run both SQL Express and SQL Server um, side by side on this particular system. In practice, you wouldn't do that, but for our purposes, um, it'll work just fine. And probably most of you will only have SQL Server Express running, and you won't have to worry about that. But I just wanted to point out as I do this install uh, that that might, might happen if you've already installed SQL Server on your system. Okay, this is really, really important. Did you get that? This is real important. Make sure that you install your databases for development purposes in mixed mode. What that means is that you'll be able to use web development tools easier, at least that's what I've always found, by doing that. What this does is it creates an account on that database instance of SA, System Administrator. And I'm just going to give it my normal password that I use um, throughout my system space. You will only need this password um, for local operations on your database. But it gives you 
um, something to work with. Also notice that in the, this bottom box here, the specify SQL Server Administrators, make sure that your identity that you're logged in with on your system, and notice I'm stressing it's yours, you own it, uh, you should be able to access it. Make sure that you're listed here. If you're not, click on the Add Current User button or click on Add and search for your login identity on your computer system. Okay, once you have all that taken care of, click Next. There we go. And then once we get to there, again, if you want to send error reports to Microsoft, that's your choice. And now we're actually doing the install. And there we go, we have our database installed and we've succeeded. So I'm going to go ahead and click close. And since we've done with this, I'm finished with this, let's close that. And just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and open up SQL Server Management Studio. And when I do that, I should see that I have multiple um, instances of my uh, database. Notice that when I log back in uh, through the Management Studio, I have my computer name and Windows authentication set, and the user is going to be this Ultra PC guy, I'm sure, so I'm going to click Connect. And now, notice that by default I'm coming up with SQL Server, so that's already been installed and, and connected, but if you don't see that, uh, you don't see your SQL Server, what you can do is click on the Connect Database Engine, go to Browse for More, and notice now I've got two when I browse for more in the Database Engine. It's actually going and looking, sending out calls to the uh, database system. And this is my standard install of SQL Server. And then notice that the... Um, SQL Express version has its own instance name set up there. So I'm going to select that and then click OK and then click Connect. And notice now I have two database instances available to me. We're just going to work on the SQL Express version for the next part of, of this series of tutorials. And again, we've done this complete install in under 10 minutes excluding, of course, the, the download process of getting the uh, software in the first place. This has been Mike Shore of the Web Technologies Department. In our next tutorial, I'll show you how to add a database to our system.